is to blame for slavery? Is it entirely white people? I'm not sure considering we know that Africans were often sold into slavery by other Africans. Even if you want to stay at home here in the US, there were many black slave owners. According to the 1830 census, free blacks owned over 10,000 slaves collectively. Are the descendants of these black people also entitled to reparations? Who benefited from slavery? Of course, white people benefited from slavery. I think there's an exclusivity problem because not only did white people benefit, but so did the country as a whole, as well as black people. Yes, black people. While I'm not saying there isn't a gap between wages between whites and blacks, but there's a gap between, you know, many different ethnic groups. But black people are the richest in this country per capita than anywhere else. If you look specifically at the countries black people were taken from, you'll see 10, 25, in some places, 50 times higher income here. Yes, black people did benefit from slavery as well. Migration. We need to keep in mind the effect migration has had on America. America has been the land of migration. There was a huge surge of Europeans in the 1880s up to the 1920s with the world wars and Congress putting forth legislation. It kind of had a damper effect. That time period having a decrease in foreign born Americans. But after the 60s with more Congress legislation, immigration has grown like crazy. With most immigration of course coming from Asian or Asia and Latin America. Considering what you're talking about Jews, uh, Japanese, Russians, Chinese, Koreans, Mexicans, Greeks, Hungarians, Polans, or Polish, Iranians, etc. Should all of those guys and their descendants pay for reparations? Oh, and speaking of descendants, there were over 360,000 white people who died fighting against the idea of slavery. There were 2.75 million people who fought in the Civil War, 2 million from the North, which really seems really lopsided, 2 million from the North, 750,000 from the South. 360,000 white people died fighting against slavery. Are their descendants responsible and deserving of paying reparations? Technically, reparations have already been paid. Okay, specifically, no. But what is reparations but an attempt at retribution? What do you consider the preferential treatment given to black people by the government? For example, affirmative action. Affirmative action in jobs uh, gives businesses incentives for hiring black people. Affirmative action in education gives lower achieving black people a chance at higher education, even when there were other higher reaching applicants. I mean, President Joe Biden, who <laughs> choosing a vice president, said that his running partner would need to be black and a woman. Considering Kamala Harris had to drop out of the presidency race while picking up 0% in the polls in her own state, that makes Kamala Harris, our VP, an affirmative action pick. Is that not a reparation payment? <laughs> all right, all jokes aside, some people are not going to be swayed away from the idea of reparations needing to be paid for slavery. I've heard people say that a lot of ethnic groups have been given some form of reparations by the government. And while my argument would typically be that most of those payments went directly to those who were victims of those given atrocities like um, Holocaust survivors, and Japanese internment uh, camp um, survivors, I would say, okay, I mean, you're right. I, there has been a lot of reparation type payments given to um, minorities and ethnicities. Put aside um, Native Americans, because they seem like they're getting the most uh, benefits or mad benefits from the government. So we have to come up with an idea that makes it fair to some of the other groups who had nothing to do with slavery. I think it should be in the form of taxes. Now, the idea that black people shouldn't pay taxes would be crazy considering that would mean the government would instantly lose 13% of its tax revenue. But I mean credit, a specific tax credit, like property tax. Hear me out. If black people are given a property tax credit, the government loses little up front. Depending on your source, black home ownership is somewhere between 40 and 50%. That means 40 to 50% of people own homes. 40 to 50% of black people own homes. That means the government loses that portion of the property tax, but it would only be from the black population depending on if those numbers increase or decrease. If the black home ownership rate decreases today, the government loses less money with this credit but if the home ownership rate increases, which it likely would, considering the property tax credit would incentivize more black people to buy homes, the government loses no money because they've never had it in the first place. It wasn't really accounted for, really. Thus, no group actually pays for the reparations. I know this doesn't account completely for the change in taxes that will likely happen considering the government is not going to be cool with losing revenue. It just seems to be the most viable option. All black people would be eligible depending on credit, 
um, debt, income, but not all black people will use it. So, sounds like a good idea to me. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, I know this was an odd video considering it, I mean, considering in the beginning, I pretty much talked about why there shouldn't be reparations, but I'm gonna give it to you straight. Well, I don't agree. If the government wants to slide your boy some grip in any form, I'll gladly accept it. I might as well try and see it through. <laughs> if you like this video and you wanna see my next video about systemic racism and the lack thereof, please like, subscribe, and share this video. I appreciate it. Thank you.